in order to grow, you have to step outside of your comfort zone. You have to push yourself. And you have to do what you once thought might have been impossible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that's not supposed to be in here. Something that I have found um, for growth, one of the most important things is to also never be complacent. Want more out of yourself. It's okay to be thankful for what you have, but at the same time, expecting more from yourself and believing you can do more. First off, I just want to say today's the day we found out about the miscarriage, so that's kind of like lingering over us right now, but we're going to try and make the best out of it because that's what life's all about, and that's what I'm all about. 2019, thankfully, was our best year yet. And as a business owner, you should always be looking to grow. Growth is the healthiest thing for business. When I started in 2017, I didn't even make enough money to cover my rent, and it was scary. But every reinvestment opportunity I've ever had since then, I have reinvested into our business, into ourselves. Thankfully, by the grace of God, it has worked and it's gotten us to where we are today. But every year we have grown and that is the goal. <sighs> and like I said in the intro, one of the biggest things to limit you is complacency and thinking, you know what? I'm okay right here. It's dangerous. It's dangerous and that is what can kill a business. When it comes to business, analytics are important knowing not only the good things that happened, but the bad. I started reevaluating in 2020. You know, celebrate, we did good, like it was a great year. 2020, new year, what happened in 2019 that you regret or that I would have changed? One, space. I had to sell or get rid of cars because of space. I couldn't really keep race cars outside or on the street. Um, I'm technically not allowed to keep my trailer on the street. Thankfully, like this garage has been amazing to me. I have a lift and I'm blessed. I have an air compressor. Really all a normal car enthusiast would dream of. A three car garage with a lift or maybe more. But with all that I do, I've gotten to the point to where I have to move a car out from under the lift and then I have to move all the other cars and then I have to move my tools around just to get started for the day and it's killing and burning a lot of time, hello. I feel so bad because it's like you have to go to work. Imagine if you have to rearrange your whole office twice before you can get your work So <laughs> here's what I've learned from that is I have had a lot of time wasters too. Another thing I learned in 2019, I have wasted a lot of time waiting for other people to do things that I can do. However, I haven't had the space. I've had some of the tools to do it, but I haven't had the space. And so I was, with all of that considered, I was like, you know what? It's time to reevaluate. It's time to reinvest. It's time to see what we can do to step it up a notch. And so our idea here is to hopefully never have to move again. Um, I'm so tired of moving. I've got some stories for you. It's been a long search. And I'll explain why we got this house, but we're gonna get going. We gotta move a couple things over to the new place. If you guys follow my Instagram, you know that I love guitar. I play guitar, and it is awesome. I uh, now have, this is not even all my guitars, but, and not all my amps, nor my pedals, but we're bringing those over, some guns, pew pew, and some other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take the JZX, and Jerome is going to be guarding the new place. Isn't that right, dude? All right, Jerome, it's hot as tits today. Will you hold this for me? Thanks, dude. Jerome, are you freaking psyched? We're going to the new place, baby! Woo! Yo, dude, I think people might think you're driving the car. You ever thought about that? When I posted that we were moving, a lot of people said like, oh, don't leave Texas. Are you going to California again? Um, no, I can confidently say I'll probably never live in California. Unless I become an actor and I just make millions of dollars, I, there's no way I'm getting to live back in California. We found a really cool place, kind of out in the country. It's tight. Hold up, I've never played what was in this. This, what? I've never played what was in the JZX before. What is this? Hey, let's go! This sounds like the menu music on a really bad Nintendo game from 1997. It's authentic, baby. I feel like I'm on the Futimi Kyle right now. Dude, it's so sick out here. Oh, man. Rolling hills, dude. And... Oh, <laughs> the 
That's my neighbor's driveway. <laughs>
not not what you need. So, ooh, look at these little red ants. Ooh, those are mites. Ooh, look at that little mite. Ah, can't, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I popped you, bro. We looked at we looked at house after house after house. We looked way in the country. We uh, we saw houses that were really pretty, and we saw houses that were you know had a lot of land, but some of them were just way too far out. And, um, so we 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 have been searching for a, probably a good four months now, maybe five behind the scenes. It hasn't really slowed the videos down, but it's definitely been something that's been keeping us really busy when we have not been uh, working and making videos and stuff. Them none of them felt right. And what's really important about buying a house is some realtors will say, well, you can't be too picky. Absolutely, freaking lutely you can be as picky as you want. It's your money, and it could be the house you live in for the rest of your life. So, yeah, we're going to be picky as hell, bro. So none of them just, like, met the perfect criteria. Some of them were just too janky. Some of them just needed too much work. I told Victoria, I was like, you know... If I'm gonna spend, I want it to be worth the money. I want it to feel like a house that is worth the money. You guys gotta realize too, you can't just buy a beautiful house for $3 in Texas. Too many Californians have moved to Texas and completely ruined the housing market of Texas. <laughs> but it's actually like, if you're around Dallas or Houston, like houses are not cheap. They're not, they're not California expensive, but like, it's not a freaking dollar a square foot out here. Um, and so, you know, I really wanted to get the best bang for my buck. And I was like, you know what? We can build a shop if we have to. And then I, the day I told Victoria that, I was like, find me something that's worth the money. And she's like, well, I found this. I looked at it. I remember I was playing Xbox. I was drinking a glass of whiskey. And I saw it. She turned, she turned the laptop to me. I was like, that's it. And that was this house. And so the next day, we came, we looked at it, and um, we're just like, dude, it's too cool. So this house is from, this house is pretty old, but it's the most structurally sound house ever. Like, the inspection went really well on it. It's a, it's a great, great house. And we saw it, and I looked at the land. I looked at all the land around us, and I was like, dude, I mean, we can have a pool here someday. Kiddos, Lord willing, you know, they're going to have a great time here. Shop there. It's got beautiful trees, and it's like pretty inside it's got plenty of space and so um well we um we bought the house and just on top of all that like it was a contingency between this house and the one we were at but that's like it was it's been kind of a not stressful thing um, i try to never ever stress i always try and stay here because life is here and here and all the time as long as you stay in here level-headed life's great but it was a lot man it's it's but thankfully um and we prayed hard about it and our house sold in three days we took the first offer and ran with it because usually when you sell a house or a car the first offer is your best offer <laughs> and that is really true we're here we're grateful eh, i guess i'll show it to you i'll show you the outside jzx you keep the garage nice and warm for me okay jerome you too bro you're man you're the man of the house right now we basically have our own street, which is nice. But here it is, guys. I'll give you all a little more intimate look on it uh, as we move in. But we had to just get a few things figured out before we actually move. By the time you guys see this, we will have moved in. Um, and I'm gonna do some vlogs of driving the cars over. I even bought some POV stuff. So you guys can watch me drive the cars over here you guys have asked about that but um guys are really excited and um i'm really hot we're gonna eat and then i'll <laughs> recap when we get to our old house just i'm this is a completely different day and we've pretty much moved out of this house just from the bottom of my heart i just want to say thank you guys for being a part of our life and um, being a part of what happened here in this house great and terrible things all happened here but that's also life we built a lot of really cool cars in that garage but it's time to move on and get something um, I want to just say, believe in yourself today. Invest in yourself. If you if you really do believe in yourself, invest in yourself. Even if, like right now, when times are kind of hard, times are kind of crazy, yeah, it's still important to do that. Um, and I also just want to say thank you guys. Um, honestly, being in this line of work, filled with so much hate and criticism and negativity, it's really nice to see how many people out there um, care about us because we obviously went through a lot with Victoria and she's been going through a lot. And um, it's really nice to know that with all of that being, you know, with all the hate and negativity, there's people out there that do, that, that do care. Now, obviously we know that. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't be watching my videos or our videos right now if you didn't, but I just want to say thanks. It's been awesome. It's been real in this house. Like it's been an amazing house and I'm still gonna miss it. Uh, if, we could, if we could have just 
moved this house and plopped it somewhere else with some more land than it probably would have, but you can't really do that. So, um, guys, I'll catch you guys later. We have a lot of stuff coming up. We have been busy. This is like days later. <laughs> We've been really busy. So I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have an amazing day. Peace. Hey, Trailer Tom here. I'm saying on the next video, I'm featured for a little bit, and it's going to be a good one, so make sure you keep watching it. Also, click one of them two videos right in front of you. You're going to have a great time if you watch them two videos. Bye.